if you want to trade like a rebel, you got to come to RebelCon 2022. It's going to be in Dallas, Texas at the fabulous Four Seasons Resort. It will be more fun and more live trading than we've ever done before. That's why it's called RebelCon 2022. We're going to have barbecues and double the amount of live trading. The guest speakers, as soon as we announce those, this thing's gonna be sold out, limited to 250 people. Sign up now for RebelCon 2022 at the Four Seasons in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to the Rebellion. Welcome back, folks. I am John Najarian, and this is 3 at 3, 3 p.m. each business day, Eastern Time. We bring you this unusual activity. Unusual activity is what we have defined for the better part of 22 years. That's how long we've been basically talking about the large blocks of calls or puts that trade on the U.S. exchanges and then seeing which ones tip us off as to market direction. A bullish call purchase um, means somebody thinks that stock is going higher and they want a leveraged bet that indeed it does go higher. Uh, leveraged bet to the downside with puts. So you got the idea, calls bullish, puts bearish. All right, let's get started with the final trading day of August 2022, August 31st. Here was Pete and I yesterday on the Rebel Edge, our show that airs at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Here we were talking about First Solar. As you can see over on the right side of the screen there, Best Buy, Boyd, not Boyd Gaming, but BYDDF, uh, which is an EV play that Warren Buffett was exiting some of and why we were talking about that one. Patterson Energy is PTEN, and then you see First Solar. So they said they're going to put a lot of money into a new solar plant. And one of the reasons is the Inflation Reduction Act, which is not an Inflation Reduction Act. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it is an energy act and a tax and spend act. But nonetheless, um, First Solar will be a beneficiary. And um, you can only uh, trade the market you have, folks. So I might disagree with some of the things that Congress and the president do. Doesn't matter if it's this president or any other president. Um, I might disagree, but I will always try to find the way to make money legitimately from what they are doing. And they're throwing money at EVs and solar, uh, anything green right now. And First Solar is the biggest solar panel maker in the United States. So we talked about it yesterday, stock was up 4%. Today, up another $5, 127.63. There you see the uh, progression over the past five days alone when it was moving up from the 117 to 127. And yes, we have had some unusual activity in the name. Speaking of unusual activity, there will be lots of it down in Dallas, Texas. RebelCon 2022, my brother Pete and I will be there. We'll have virtually our entire staff down there at the Four Seasons, which is Dallas, Texas, the 21st through 24th. We've got a golf tournament, the 21st. We've got two days of live trading, 22nd, 23rd, and then lots of fun and education along the way. RebelCon 2022, two-day trading boot camp, Texas experience, which includes barbecues, uh, that golf tournament I talked about, um, I think even armadillo races. But anyway, check it out, rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. That's rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. September 21st through 24th, check it out. All right, first trade of the day, XLU. This is the Spider S&P 500 sector uh, is broken into several of these spiders. And one of those is the XLU. It happens to be, as the last letter implies, utilities. 
So 74.87, somebody's buying the 72 puts. Stock's virtually at 75. They're buying the 72 puts that expire third week of September. Not this week, which would be the 2nd of September. That's this Friday. Not next week, the 9th, but the following week is when these expire. So it is deep into the pool, fast time decay, but somebody looking for some of these utility stocks to get hurt over the short term. Rebel Edge, as I said uh, already, uh, Rebel Edge is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. You can also pick it up by going to YouTube. All of the shows are up on YouTube, 2,900 plus uh, videos and episodes are up on YouTube. So how would you find them? Go to YouTube, type in Market Rebellion into the search bar, and you will see our YouTube channel. It is completely free, no registration required. Um, you can just click on that and you will be subscribed. If you click on the little bell in the upper right-hand corner, you can also click on notifications. Every time there is a new video up, you would be notified. Bang! I encourage you to check it out. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. All right, next trade, KWeb. This is the Chinese internet. It slipped back down to 30, and as it slipped back down to $30 a share, somebody bought 6 million share equivalent of the September 35 calls. One print alone was 45,000. So what does this mean? First of all, 60,000 of these calls is 6 million share equivalent because every option is for 100 shares. So just take 60,000 and add two zeros to the end of it. You get the idea, 6 million share equivalent of a $30 stock. Um, that's $180 million potential that they're controlling with this upside call purchase. I like following when people are making those kinds of bets because they're normally very well informed. We shall see. But I'm going to risk a small amount of money, buy an at the money, and then sell upside calls as it rallies. Again, this is short-term trade, only has two weeks to live. Third and final of today's three at three is XRT. This is the retail spider. So I'm giving you two of those big spiders today. So the S&P is broken into all these little sectors. Um, financials, XLF, um, XRT, retail. Most of, mostly the two letters at the end are what it is focused on. And in this case, it is the retailers. So the retailers within the S&P 500, somebody bets that maybe they're going to fall because it was trading almost $64 and they're buying the 55 puts nearly $9 below where it is right now. That would portend a horrible couple of weeks, perhaps month for uh, the retail sector. Um, I'm not rooting for that, but I am putting on a trade to profit from it. Just like I said, I don't agree with every bill that passes. I don't want to root against retail or against America, but I do want to profit if indeed that's what's going to happen. So I am riding this one to the downside. Bang. All right. That's going to do it for us today, folks. Check out marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That's marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. And I will see you tomorrow on the Rebel Edge. Bang. See you then.